Come on, we'll start the 28th problem. Up to 27th, we have completed in the previous session. R Limited is having the following capital structure 2 lakh equity shares, rupees 40 lakh. So, what is the face value per share? We can easily calculate 40 lakh rupees total equity share capital, number of equity shares 2 lakh. Then reserves 20 lakh, 15% debentures 30 lakh. 14% long term loan 10 lakh, the total capital employed is 1 crore. During the last 5 years, the company has paid equity dividend of 20% and in future, uh, it is expected to grow at 5%. Compute the WSCC based on existing capital structure. So we have to calculate WSCC. But for calculating WSCC, first we need the specific cost. <coughs> tax rate is not given in the problem so 28 the problem working notes calculation of specific costs first one cost of equity K The face value of equity share is equal to total equity share capital is rupees 40 lakh and number of equity shares are 2 lakh that is equal to rupees 5 zeros 5 zeros gets cancelled rupees 20 face value is rupees 20 we assume <coughs> the market value of share as same that is rupees 20 now dividend it is given that the company has paid equity dividend of 20 percent and in future it is expected to grow at five percent so dividend per share is equal to rate of dividend plus growth rate we can directly check the dividend rate is 20 percent growth rate is equal to 5 percent therefore ke is equal to 25 percent the cost of retained earnings can also be taken as 25% KR is equal to 25% now it is assumed the tax rate as 50% we assume the tax rate as 50% it is not given in the problem that's why we have made the assumption now Debentures Cost of debt KD 15% debentures So KD after tax Is equal to KD before tax Into 1 minus T so 15 into 1 minus 0.5 is equal to 7.5 percent similarly uh, 14 percent 14 percent long term loan KD after tax is equal to KD before tax into 1 minus T that is 14 into 1 minus 0 0.5 that is equal to 7 that's it now we can compute the WSCC computation of WACC type of capital 
and amount specific cost total cost same number of columns first one is <clears throat> equity shares second reserves third one debentures last one long term loan amounts are given 40 lakh here amount is given 20 lakhs next one 30 lakhs and long term loan is 10 lakh Come on, uh, so 50, 60, 1 crore. Total capital employed is 1 crore. Now, specific cost. For equity, the cost of capital is 25%. Reserves, 25%. Debentures, 7.5%. This is 7%. Now, we make the calculations. 40 lakh into 25%, 10 lakhs. Similarly, 20 lakhs into 25%, 5 lakh. Then 30 lakhs into 7.5%, 2 lakh 25,000. Lastly, 10 lakhs into 7%, 70,000. 2 lakh 20 plus 5 lakh plus. 10 lakhs. It is one uh, 17 lakh 95,000. 17 lakh 95,000. WACC is equal to 17 lakh 95,000 divided by 1 crore. 17.95 percent. Seventeen point nine five percent. That's it. This is the WACC, weighted average cost of capital. Now, see the next problem. <clears throat> problem number 29. Mahindra Steels Limited has the following capital structure. 2 lakh equity shares of 10 per share, 20 lakh. And retained earnings are 10 lakh, 15% debenture of 100 each, 15 lakh. 12% preference share of 10 inch file. Determine the WSCC of the company based on the existing capital structure. The market price of the company's equity share is 40 rupees and the company is paying a dividend of 4 rupees per share in the next year. And the dividends are expected to grow at 8%. Tax rate is 35%. So here we have to compute both specific cost as well as WSCC. Now, cost of equity. First, we will calculate this is 29th problem. Cost of equity. Ke is equal to D by P into 100 plus G. Dividend. The dividend per share is given in the problem as 4 rupees. Then, market price of the share is 40 rupees into 100 plus growth rate. Growth rate in the dividend is 8%. Uh, so 4 ones are 4, 10%. 10 plus 8 is equal to 18%. KE is equal to 18%. We got. Now, retain earnings. KR is also equal to KE that is 18%. Assuming no flotation cost in equity or 
तो फर्स्ट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड कॉस्ट ऑफ इक्विटी एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ रिटर्न अर्निंग नाउ 15 परसेंट डिवेंचर रेट ऑफ टैक्स रेट ऑफ टैक्स इज गिवन एस 35 परसेंट टी इज इक्वल टू 0.35 KD after tax is equal to KD before tax into 1 minus T that is equal to 15 into 1 minus 0.35 so 15 into 0.65 9.75 percent This is the KD after tax for 15% debentures. Similarly, third, 12% uh, preference shares. Therefore, KP is equal to 12%, 0.12. That's it. Over. Now we can calculate the WSCC already. Table is prepared. Huh. Type of capital. Type of capital equity. Equity is given in the problem 20 lakhs. Then retained earnings. Retained earnings are 10 lakhs. Then we have 15% debentures and last 12% preferentials. Right? So, 15% debentures are 15 lakh. Then 12% debentures are 5 lakh. Now, KE we have calculated 18%. This is 18%. Debentures 9.75%. And this is 12%. Now we calculate 20 lakhs into 18 percent 3 lakh 60 thousand similarly 10 lakh into 18 percent 1 lakh 80 thousand similarly 15 lakh into 9.75 percent 1 lakh 46 thousand 250 5 lakh into 12 percent 60,000 plus 1 lakh 46 to 50 plus 1 lakh 80,000 plus 3 lakh 60,000 7 lakh 46,000 to 50 and this total 20, 30, 40, 50 lakhs so 7 lakh 46,000 to 50 divided by 50 lakhs into 100 7 lakh 46 thousand 250 divided by 50 lakhs into 100 14 point 14.925 percent this is the WACC 14.925 percent see the next 30 problem number 38 XYZ Limited is in a tax bracket of 33%. Tax 33%. From the following specific instruments, you are required to find the after tax cost of capital. First one, one, two, three, four, four points are given. In each case, we have to find out what is the post tax cost of capital. post tax cost of capital now first one the face value of perpetual bond cost of debt the face value of the perpetual bond is 1000 if it carries a coupon of 9% find the post tax cost of debt to KD after tax 
is equal to i by n p into 1 minus t into 100. This is the formula. i is equal to interest. What is the rate of Copan rate of interest? 9 percent. 9 percent of rupees 1000. 90 rupees. NP net proceeds on issue is 1000. There are no flotation cost. T tax rate is 33 percent. So KD after tax is equal to 90 divided by 1000 into 1 minus 0.33 into 100. So 90 into 0.67 into 100 divided by 1000. It comes to 6.03. Over first bit completed. It is asking you to calculate the KD specific cost. So 6.03 is the KD. First question completed. Now second bit it is asking you the par value of the bond is 1000. Second bit. The par value of the bond. Bond means again depends is debt instrument. So again KD we have to calculate. The par value of the bond is 1000, the Copan is 10% and the company issued it at 945, net proceeds. The flotation cost incurred is 3% and the bond's life is 8 years, the redeemable bond. Find the after tax cost of debt. Cost of debt, KD. Redeemable bond. So KD after tax is equal to I plus P minus NP by N divided by P plus NP divided by 2 into 1 minus T into 100. <coughs> I is equal to. What is the interest? How much is the interest? 10% of 1000. 100. P is equal to amount payable on redemption. Amount payable on redemption. If nothing is given, we assume it as face value. Rupees 1000. NP, net proceeds on issue. It is given in the problem that the company is uh, issued 945. 945 minus 3% uh, of flotation cost. So 3% of 1000. 945. 945 issued at 945 minus 3%. 3% means 30 rupees is equal to 913 rupees. Net proceeds. N is equal to how many years? 8 years. Then T is equal to the tax rate is 33%. Now we substitute KD after tax is equal to I. I is 100 plus P minus NP. 1000 minus 913 divided by 8 whole divided by 1000 plus 913 divided by 2 into 1 minus 0.33 into 100 simply we are substituting all the values in the formula so it will become 100 plus 1000 minus 913 divided by 8 10.875 divided by 1000 plus 913 divided by 2 500 1000 plus 913 divided by 2 956 0.5 into 0.67 into 100. 100 plus 10.875 into 0.67 into 100 divided by 956.5. It comes to 7.77. 7 
7.77 percent is the cost of debt. Here, this is the second bit complete. Second bit completed. Now we'll come to the third bit. A preference share is sold for rupees hundred today, and it is redeemed after four years. So redeemable preference shares. Third point. Cost of preference KP. Redeemable. Preference share. So KP is equal to DP plus P minus NP by N divided by P plus NP divided by two into one minus T into one. This is the formula. DP is equal to preference dividend. A preference share is sold for rupees hundred today, and it is redeemed after four years at rupees one eighteen. Uh, the preference dividend is 11%. So 11% of rupees 100 is equal to rupees 11. And the P is equal to amount payable on redemption is 118. NP net proceeds on issue sold at rupees 100. NP is 100. N is equal to how many years? 4 years. T is equal to 0.33. That's it. Find the cost of preference capital. So KP is equal to DP is 11 plus P is 118 minus 100 divided by 4. Divided by 118 plus 100 divided by 2. Into 1 minus 0.33 into 100. That is equal to 11 plus 118 minus 100 divided by 4, it comes to 4.5 divided by 118 plus 100 divided by 2, 109 into 0 0.67 into 100. 11 plus 4.5 is equal to into 0 0.67 into 100 divided by 109, it comes to 9.53 percent. Third point we have completed. KP. Third point we have calculated cost of preference capital. Cost of preference capital. Next, last one. Fourth point. So this type of a problem also may appear in examinations. They will not ask you to calculate WSCC. They will give four or five points regarding the specific cost. So you have to remember the formula. Different formulas we have for KD, KP, KE. And that too. In KD we have before tax and after tax. Before tax and after tax. So KD will be redeemable and irredeemable. Similarly preference shares may be redeemable or irredeemable. So accordingly the formula will change. Last one, fourth point. Fourth point, equity. The equity share of a company are currently traded at 126. This is the market price. The latest dividend paid was rupees 11 D. If the dividend of the company are expected to grow at 7.5%, what would be the cost of equity? According to DP plus G approach, the KE will be D is equal to dividend per share is given in the problem. The latest dividend paid is rupees 11. P is equal to market price. The market price is given as 126. And G is equal to growth rate 7.5%. So K is equal to 11 divided by 126 into 100 plus 7.5. So KE is equal to 11 divided by 126 into 100 
is equal to 8.73 plus 7.5 16.23 the cost of cap cost of equity capital is 16.23 that's it problem number 31 so here onwards i am giving some problems as your homework we are not going to do all already 30 problems we have done so remaining problems where you have to do it as for your practice x limited has the following capital structure on 31st march 2017 equity share capital 20000 equity share rupees 40 lakh 16 percent preferential capital 14 percent dividend total the company pays dividend at 10 percent so we can take ke as 10 percent you are required to compute the wscc based on the existing capital structure so three forms of capitals are given equity, preference and dividends. Company pays dividend at 10%, no other information is given. So directly we can take KE is equal to 10%. You are required to compute WSCC based on existing. Compute the new WSCC if the company raises an additional 20 lakh rupees debt issuing 15% dividend. So two times you have to calculate WSCC. First one, 31st problem. Calculation of WACC Specific cost Total cost Here costs are given equity Preference 